In this screencast, I'll show you how to calculate the Helmholtz free energy for a non-associating system using PC SAFT. Um, here is the main reference, reference 1. That's where the equations are taken from. And so if we go to this sheet here, um, this has all been set up to do the calculations. So we've got some fundamental constants, we've got the temperature of the system, and then we've got the packing fraction of the system, and then some things calculated based on that, so the, the number density and the molar volume. OK, down here we've got the parameters, so the three components in this system are methane, ethane and propane. We've got the mole fractions, we've got the number of segments in each molecule, this is, these are taken from reference 1. We've got the temperature independent segment diameter, again these are taken from uh, reference 1. And then we've got the depth of the pair potential divided by the Boltzmann constant, again taken from reference 1. So all of these parameters are taken from reference 1 and are looked up depending on the molecule and then we've also got the mole fraction of each of those which the user has to input as well. Now calculated based on that information is the temperature dependent diameter and that depends on the temperature independent diameter, the depth of the pair potential and on the temperature of the system and is given by this equation here. And this is equation A9 from reference 1. The radial distribution function of the hard chain fluid is worked out using, uh, again, an equation from reference 1. The equation is shown in full here. And also we've got a couple of other things that are just useful for le uh, later on in the calculation. So m minus 1 and the natural log of the radial distribution function. OK, so if we come across to here, we've got the hard chain reference contribution, which is calculated using the equation shown here. And this needs a, a number of different things to come together in order to calculate it. So if we go down, we can see we've got uh, zeta 0, 1, 2 and 3. Uh, now, zeta 3 equals eta. And so we've got these different parameters and they're all calculated using this equation here, which is equation A8 from reference 1. Now the hard sphere contribution is calculated in this cell and is based on this equation, so it draws upon the values up here. And then the mean value of the segment diameter is calculated using equation A5, which is here. So all of these numbers get combined in order to come up with the uh, the hard chain contribution. So um, by by some means or another, the, these numbers are being uh, calculated and drawn upon, and we get the hard chain contribution. Now, if we come across, we've got the dispersion contribution, and again, we we have an equation to calculate this, and this is equation A10 from reference 1, so the reference that we showed earlier on, if you want to look up that paper. Okay, and this uh, equation relies on a number of other terms that are calculated down here. So we've got I1, I2 calculated using these equations, um, and these rely on some universal values uh, in this table here. So AI of M is based on this equation and BI of M is based on this equation. And the universal model constants that are needed are shown in this table here. And these values come from table one in reference one. So they are drawn upon in order to calculate the parameters in this table down here. So you can see that's linking to that. As we go down, we've also got C1, which is a constant that's calculated uh, in terms of eta and the mean value of M. And then we've also got these, uh, some of these, these terms here as well, which are abbreviations for uh, longer equations. And there's a series of tables down here which go through and, and calculate the values that are needed. And then in the end, 
the abbreviation here m squared epsilon and sigma cubed is just the sum of this table and then the same goes for this one but it's slightly different so it's a different table and I'll provide a link to this spreadsheet in the description so if you want to explore this yourself in more detail you, you can do. Okay so now we've got the dispersion contribution because we're doing this for non-associating systems we're not looking at the associating term of PCSAFT at the moment so we can calculate the reduced residual Helmholtz free energy by adding up the hard chain contribution and the dispersion contribution so that is simply those two terms added together and we can work out the residual Helmholtz free energy but not the reduced version by multiplying by Avogadro, Boltzmann constant and the temperature. Okay, one final thing I want to show you is a VBA custom function that I've created. So if you type equals PC saft A, open brackets, and then you put in the required information. So you need to put in the temperature, the number density of molecules, we also need mole fraction, segment number, uh, temperature independent segment diameter, and the depth of the pair potential divided by the Boltzmann constant. And we need the binary interaction parameters set out like this. If we do all of that, then this custom function will actually calculate the residual Helmholtz free energy for us without having to have all the rest of these calculations in the spreadsheet. So that is, is uh, quite a nice way of doing this and quite, a, quite an easy way of just calculating this reduced residual Helmholtz free energy. And if you go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic, you'll see here in module one the, the code that, that does this. So it reads in those values and then it does all the calculations for us. Okay, uh, some information on how this function uh, needs to be used is shown here. So it shows the order in which you put things and the fact that they need to be in a row and not a column. And so all of that is there. And in summary, this has been a short screencast to show you how to calculate the Helmholtz free energy for non-associating systems using PCSAF.